Hey guys, Nikea here. What up, what up, what up? So, I am going to be doing my, um, me and Kelly's 11th month update. I know this is kind of late. What the hell is that noise? Um, sorry. If you can hear that noise, I'm not sure what it is. It might be my speakers, but, um, I wanted to give you guys this update on uh, me and her. She's not here right now, obviously. I was trying to do it earlier today, but, um, I didn't get a chance to. I was so busy. But, um, this video is going to be really quick because Kaylee is not here and... Obviously, it's a little bit awkward doing a video of my baby girl, her 11-month update, and she's not here, but I'm Nikea. I do the weirdest things, so um, just to give you guys a rundown, she is 11 months, almost one. She'll be one in two weeks, so this video is extremely late. I do apologize for that, but I've been so busy trying to get ready for her birthday party, and getting ready for her road trip. Um, we are going to be going on a road trip from California to Kansas City, Missouri. Um, if you guys are not familiar how far that is, you guys can Google the distance, but it is extremely far. It is a 23 hour road trip, I believe, and I think that's non stop. So, we're going to be traveling to Kansas City with Kenny and his family, um, going to a surprise 80th birthday party. Um, my family, at the same time, is going on a family vacation to Florida, so I was really torn um, what to do, if I should go on this family vacation with my family or go to Kenny's. It took me a while, but I didn't want to be selfish. Um... As much as I want to go to Florida, <clears throat> this is the biggest vacation me and my family have ever gone on. They're going to Florida, they're going to Disney World, they're going to Gatorland, they're going to Universal. They're going to all of these amazing places. And I really wanted to go and I really wanted to take Kaylee to Florida, um, to Disney World. But Kaylee's great-grandmother on her dad's side, um, which is Kenny's grandmother, she's turning 80. So, God forbid that something happened to her, and she never gets to meet Kayla. This is going to be the first time she's met her in person. She's seen plenty of pictures. Um, I believe she's probably talked to her on the phone, but she's never met her. So, this is going to be the first time. Um, and I was going back and forth myself. I, I was really going pushing towards Florida, but I really had to sit back and think, you know, that... This would mean a lot to him to him and his family if we go and she definitely wasn't going without me. That was not even that was out of the question. She was not going traveling all those miles. And we're driving, by the way. <laughs> she was definitely not gonna go without me. That's just way too far. And it's not being not me being selfish, it's just me being a mom. Um if something was to happen, God forbid, knock on wood. I'm, I wouldn't be able to get to her. You know, it's not just a, up the street. If they're on the road, I can't get to her. i um, not saying that I don't trust Kenny's parents or anything like that, because I do. I trust them with my life. I trust them with Kaylee's life. But just me, being a mom, I couldn't get to her fast enough. So that was definitely out of the question. She was not going to go without me, because I know some of you are probably like, well, why don't you just go to Florida and send Kaylee to Kansas City? Yeah, I didn't want that, so I didn't do it um, <laughs> before I started blabbering. So we're going to Kansas City, and I chose Kansas City because you only turn 80 once. It's a big deal. 80 years old is huge. It's huge. She's very blessed to be on this earth as long as she is. <laughs> Excuse me. So I think that <laughs> it was a big deal, and I think that I made the right decision. Um, to go ahead and go to Kansas City with him because I really want her to meet her, you know, other great grandmother, and I really want her great grandmother to meet her. Who's to say if she'll be here next year or the year after? We're praying and hoping she'll be here, but 
that I have the opportunity now. So I'm going to take full advantage of the opportunity and go ahead and go on this road trip. I will be documenting the road trip, so you guys will see exactly the tedious, the happy, and the tired, and the sad. I'm sure every emotion that we're going to be experiencing during that trip, you guys, will be a part of. I will post the video once it's all edited and stuff. Um, but... Other than that, her first birthday party we're planning, it is going to be July the 7th. Her birthday falls on a Saturday. Ugh, cannot believe she's one. I'm like really tripping out because I can literally remember just like yesterday when I was recording my video about being 40 weeks pregnant and being so tired. Ugh, when I look back at my videos, I was so ugly, you guys. You guys are so nice for just being so nice but I was just so ugly I was like dark I was black like black my nose was huge Ugh, I'm so ugly it makes me terrified to get pregnant again <laughs> but literally I can remember like yesterday but now she's turning one I'm so excited and I know a lot of people don't usually go big for birthday parties but one years old is a milestone you only turn one once and where I decided to have her the biggest birthday party that I can think of, um, or that's in my budget that I can afford now. So, we're going to have a birthday party. It's going to be at my mom's. You guys will be a part of it because I will be filming. I say that now, but like in the heat of the moment, I might be too busy. So, forgive me if I'm just talking. But you, I will make some sort of video, even if it's just a slideshow with pictures. Um... The final touches of the birthday party is coming around and everything is almost set in stone and ready to go. I'm excited for it. That's going to be Saturday, July 7th. How cool is it that her first birthday is on a Saturday? Yay, Kaylee! So, we are going to have that. Um, as far as everything else goes, she's good. She's walking. She's talking. She has a temper. Oh my gosh, you guys. She has a temper. <sighs> Her cousins taught her how to fight. When I say her cousins, I mean her first cousins. Like my sister's kids. There are four, seven, and ten. So they're like really close in age. Um, so yeah, they taught her how to fight. So she has a temper problem. When she does not get what she wants, she falls out. She doesn't go like that anymore. Well, she does, but for the majority of time, when she has a temper tantrum, she'll fall on the floor and just have a fit. Um, but other than that, she's an angel. I love her to death. I'm enjoying spending time with her, and I just love it. Um, ooh, sorry. <clears throat> as far as I go, I'm good. I'm still dropping weight. Um, I don't think I'm going to make weight loss videos, I guess, when I give you guys updates on me and Kaylee, or when I do, like, vlog videos, I'll give you guys updates. But I am still... Not at my goal of, I don't think I told you guys what my goal weight was, but my goal weight is 180. So I'm not there quite yet, but I'm really, really, really close. I'm not going to tell you guys how much away because I'm just not, but um, I'm really close to it. So cross your fingers. Hope that at, by the end of the summer, that's my goal. By the end of the summer, I want to be at 180. I'm 5'9 for all of you guys that keep asking. I'm 5'9 and a half, whatever, I just say 5'9", because I sound so retarded and so stupid, if I say, I'm, hi, I'm Nike, and I'm 5'9 and a half, nice to meet you, <laughs> no, I'm 5'9", thanks, flat, so, I'm 5'9", and I'm not telling you guys my weight, I have a big ass foot, I wear size 9 and a half in men, so that would put me at like 11 and a half, 12 in women, so it's really hard to find sexy, cute heels for me. I have to usually shop at Torrid or online, but YOLO, right? You only live once, so I do what I can. Um, okay, this video is starting to blabber. I'm starting to blabber, so I'm going to end it here with I love you guys. Look out for my next video. My next video, um, since I didn't have Kaylee in this one, I will have her in it. And happy Father's Day to any dads out there and the guys that watch my channel. Happy late Father's Day. Really quick, what I did for Kenny for Father's Day is I cooked him steak and lobster. I'm such a good girlfriend. <sighs> yeah, even when he doesn't deserve it, I'm such a good girlfriend sometimes. So 
save all of that negative talk, but I feel you. Um, like cooking them steak and lobster, corn, um, baked them cookies, uh, baked potato. I made him one of the blankets. The um, I have a video, a DUI, DI, DUI, oh my gosh, I don't a DIY. I have a DIY video of the no so no so tie fleece blanket. I made him one of those and I engraved his name in it. Kenny A. And it's made out of basketballs. Favorite sport in the world. Both of ours. And I know it had been a lot to him. I bought him some polo shoes. He's like into polo now. So bought him some of those. They're black and red. I should have made a video to show you guys this stuff, but that's what I did for him. Um, happy Mother's, Happy Father's Day to you single mothers out there. Being a single mother is definitely not easy. And I have mad respect and mad love for you guys. So happy Father's Day to you. Um, but ta-ta. This is it for me. Kaylee's goes to the doctor for her one-month appointment. Excuse me, July the 9th, which is the Monday after her birthday. She has to get six shots, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. So, if you guys have kids, and you guys have went to your one-year appointment already, please let me know how it was. Like, can I split up the shots and find out, like, can I do three at a time or two at a time? Just let me know if, if we can do that, because I really don't want her to have to get six shots at um at once like it'll kill me and then too I heard that her doctor told me that they have to take her blood I am gonna die if <laughs> I have to witness that so if you guys have went to your one month appointment yeah let me know if I can do those things what I can do to make it easier for her because she's a baby she can't make decisions for herself I am the closest thing she has, and I'm the only one besides her father who can protect her, and besides our families, obviously, but who can protect her, so I'm going to try my best to get the easy way out, so please let me know what you guys recommend and suggest. Thank you. That's it for now. Deuces!